Today we are going to learn about how we can perform a firepower management system from 6.4 to 6.7. Before we uh, jump on to actual uh, upgrade process, let's see what the Cisco release notes uh, says when you do upgrade to uh, version 6.7. Okay, here on a Cisco web page, if you look at the release notes for uh, firepower, Cisco Firepower Management Center, uh, we are on the very latest version, version 6.7 and uh, this particular video only talks about how we can perform the upgrade from 6.4 to 6.7. Let's see some couple of uh, major features that are introduced and supported from uh, version 6.7. As you can see, um, version 6.7 started supporting the uh, FTD device from the version, current version. And it also supports any connect uh, module feature. Additionally, it also supports any connect authentication through SAML as in single sign on authentication. It also supports LDAP authorization for remote access VPN. Let's see also, let us also see what are the deprecated features on 6.7. If your environment configured to use user agent, you might need to consider uh, when you do upgrade as the this feature is no longer supported You cannot upgrade FMC with the user agent configurations to version 6.7 So you might need to contact the Cisco tag uh, Specific to this configuration uh, when you do need to perform the upgrade So be careful uh, on this specific area Other than that, I think uh, pretty much uh, we are good. Uh, as this is very latest version, uh, we we still need to uh, uh, understand the list of uh, known uh, bugs. Uh, as you can see, the list of uh, known issues are less, um, but there are possibilities when you do upgrade from um, older version to uh, latest version, which is uh, six point seven. Uh, again, this is a very uh, major version. This does not, Cisco did not introduce any further new version. Um, most likely, the uh, 6.7 has been introduced last November. Fine. Uh, so, I will put this release notes into the description. Um, you can also uh, search um, on the browser uh, easily to find out the release notes. Okay, let's jump on to the upgrade session now. Okay, I'm on my app, uh, Virtual Fire Power Management Center. Before we uh, start to upgrade the latest version, we need to understand the system requirements are met to perform the uh, upgrade. Cisco recommends if you have a virtual FMC, you need to have at least 32 gig memory for vcpu and 250 gig hard disk space again 32 gig memory for vpc vcpu and then 250 gig uh, hard disk capacity if you don't have such requirement met your upgrade will fail so please consider to upgrade uh, those system resources first for that to upgrade so i'm i'm going to shut down the fmc console initially uh, in order for performing the memory upgrade uh, as the memory upgrade will be done through uh, esxa console uh, which may not be uh, um, I, I'm not going to show that in this screen. 
but yes uh, i'm going to shut down now um, and and uh, going to do the memory upgrade in the back end so uh, you can see the server ping to uh, the fmc console is continually uh, performing i initiated the uh, system shutdown command uh, in about a couple of uh, seconds uh, the system will uh, start to uh, go for shutdown and then uh, in the back end we can uh, um, perform the memory upgrade Okay, the system is now back up. I have also done the memory upgrade. Um, we may able to check the memory status uh, uh, once we get into the uh, session. I mean, once we get into the console uh, session. As you can see, I have verified the system memory by putting um, free space hyphen M. I could see um, 32, 173, almost 32 gig memory is allocated for the FMC console. Okay, the system is now ready. Uh, as I have, the system is already allocated for uh, uh, 4V CPU and 250GB uh, uh, hard disk capacity. Uh, the system is now met the requirements what it needs to uh, do to upgrade to version 6.7. Okay, now go to system uh, updates, system updates to perform the upgrade. Um, over here based on the version what you have uh, the system update will automatically can be downloaded but just by clicking the uh, download updates button okay so before we go in uh, go into upgrades folder uh, let's verify if you have any pending deployments uh, to all the uh, FTDs or uh, SFR, SFR modules you need to consider to push uh, those deployments and then we can uh, start to perform the upgrade okay the deployment has been initiated as you can see uh, deployment will start uh, and get finished based on the based on the system number of configuration okay we are now ready to perform the uh, upgrade One more thing, um, as you can notice, I'm on the backup management system. So you have to go to system tools, backup and restore to ensure you have, a, you have taken the backup um, so that if anything goes wrong, you will have the configuration uh, to import it back to um, the virtual management system to restore the services. Okay, let's go to system
system updates i have already uploaded uh, the 6.7 version uh, which would eventually need a reboot i'm about to click uh, the install option uh, once you enable that the system will start to um, perform the upgrade you don't need to uh, click the launch readiness check uh, as it is going to uh, perform the app uh, on its own health check uh, or readiness check uh, which may or may not uh, be useful for you um, but yes it is uh, recommended to perform that operation but in this uh, case i'm not uh, launching that i'm directly performing the install you can watch uh, the upgrade task in the uh, task section and as soon as it starts as soon as it starts performing the uh, upgrade it will be able to uh, i mean the system will create a, a dedicated folder and the folder will be available in the uh, uh, in the in the um, system specific location so in order to verify that you need to go to uh, um, the system in the uh, export mode i mean root mode so we are now under um, we are now under cd var log nsf so once you go there you'll be able to find and the older version of folders in about some time the um, uh, latest version of folder also will be created by the system automatically so we can verify the upgrade process through a uh, cli i mean cli console also yes uh, as you can see the folder has been created 6.7 now we are getting into that folder and uh, after that we just need to uh, type update dot status sorry update underscore status dot log followed by tail hyphen status dot log um, so over here you will be able to notice uh, the upgrade process how it is being performing we have to wait for some time uh, as the upgrade process will take um, on its own time to get it completed in time uh, i have paused the screen recording and now we are almost 100% uh, completed the system will now reboot to uh, get the system ready to uh, boot it from 6.7 version okay the reboot has completed successfully and uh, started uh, responding as you can see on the show version it it's now showing as version 6.7 as upgraded this is the new version of uh, theme that uh, you will get right after you perform the upgrade um, based on the i mean authentication type that you have for your environment you will be able to log in so this is pretty much a, a different theme altogether based on what you have previously on your previous versions uh, we are going to explore this newly right so hopefully with the new all the new features um, i think uh, going forward everybody will start to use uh, fmc for managing uh, um, the ftd devices yes okay so that's all about it so once you come back to uh, uh, 
reboot you can also uh, perform the deploy just ensure if you have any uh, pending uh, deployment action uh, the policies will be pushed to all its own individual uh, devices okay thank you everyone um, so in this uh, video we have learned how to perform the uh, FMC upgrade from version 6.4 to 6.7 and uh, we also went through uh, the, the release notes from Cisco website. Thank you so much. Uh, we will uh, catch up in the next video.